As I say, because it was a nosy dream, just sparring up and out, fit and healthy. So we tried to get a fight, any fight, you know, just uh, as soon as possible. And then um, sort of the best date, the most suitable date, is the one I got next weekend in the United States. So uh, I'm really, really excited. Obviously. I think I'll be excited going to San Jose for I wasn't fighting, but um, to be out there on a massive card, uh, my fight's going to be shown live here in Box Nation, but also out there with the Showtime. Um, we've got big gold on the show, so the HP Pavilion, which um, I'm not sure. Uh, it's ice hockey there, but usually a bit of a limit. Uh, great, great place for boxing, great, great stadium. So, um, I can't wait. I can't wait. So, yeah, all that frustration is behind me now. Good in going down with the you sit back. Yeah, you know, it was a good plan. When I was out in the Cyprus for the last one, and, uh, Inspiring. I was like waiting on doctors and reports. Adam said, right, you need to start like a woman. I tried desperately not to think about what it would be like to be a world champion. You can't help but think what you need to do to beat this guy. And then the next thought is, hey, you know, I'm going to have a nice big shiny belt. You know? So, um, yeah, that was in a dark place there, you know, sitting, sitting in, a, in a villa in Cyprus in the dark, wanting to cry. But, you know, I didn't want to rub my face because my nose was sore, blah blah blah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So it, it all you know, came crashing down really quickly. And uh, even, even being out there, you're away from the normal world, so it was giving me hope until I got back and started announcing you know, moving forward and medical stuff and finding out that you know, it was just over, that they wasn't going to delay it, he was going to fight someone else. And then a week later I realised that. Um, they sort of elbowed me out of the manager position because uh, the winner had to fight Abraham by yeah. a certain amount of time and the time ran out. And that was something I didn't even think of saying, oh, no, I wouldn't know, it's just it's good job I didn't think of it at the time because I would have been swayed to go through the fight injured and end up getting beat, you know, and, and you know, we're in a far worse position I am now. With no chance of doing that, was there really? I would say that, like, um, it, it would be possible, I don't think I would have let me go. Be knowing that you know, it would be a fight for it. Who broke your nose? Spark Fighters. The local guy. No, 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 we fly with Spark Fighters. Some furrow. I don't know if I was paying him enough or, <laughs> or too much, I don't know, one of the, something. Uh, was it a punch or a head? No, it was a punch. Yeah. You're sounding a bit bummed up now, are you? Yeah, it's. I think it's a tough year, hazy, sort of thing. You know. Oh, so you're like not worried about having a cold bout and fight? No, no, no. no, no. I'm uh, fit and healthy. I, I've got a cold. I had it well. Yeah, yeah. I was in the gym yesterday. I've done 12 rounds firing. So uh, I just put myself in paces. And uh, I just, you just can't wait to get out. Yeah, I thought I we might have caught it on Saturday in the rain. No, no, I'll be eight. No, no. Even none of Chisora's Bob did the chip I was all right, I was winning. It must feel like quite a relief when you fall seconds to ring. It, I'm pretty sure it will do, yeah. You know, I think I'm going to be nervous, which I'm really looking forward to be. Because, uh, funny enough, the last two fights, the three big fights, I wasn't nervous. But um, being, being away, having that time out of the ring, it was very sort of... Those American fighters, they're not, they're, they're, it's a different culture out there, you know. They're not fighting to get knocked out. It's, you know, they'll come out and they'll throw punch out and they're there. So, uh, it's all about aggression and work rate. Uh, that, that's something that will suit me because it was playing to my hands, but at the same time, it's the thing that's something different. Uh, being away from home, being a way away from home, not having my usual uh, crowd around me, you know, there's a few guys coming out. Uh, so, It'll be, uh, it'll be tough, but I'm also looking forward to that. I'm going to say I'll be nervous. I always prefer the best when I'm nervous. And, uh, it'll, be, it'll be an experience. I don't think it's anything easy. I'm going to have a tough fight. And, uh, come back, show, show, show all my improvements. And I'll, I'll be, uh, definitely be up for it, as I have to be. And then, with, uh, with, uh, with a bit of luck, you know, we've got some banner come out on the skate. I can have a week off and get straight back in the gym for... Uh, September 14th. How do you explain the lack of nerves in the last two fights? I'm just in such a, such a good place. You see, it's such a good place. Obviously, the Gale fight, anything would do it. Right? It was into 
sunshine, and the pressure on me that um, I had to make sure I did everything perfect and I did. And even with um, in the Smith fight, uh, I just got it right. It was, it was nice, it was in London, the training camp went well. I had a few little niggles and injuries, but uh, I was like, time out. Um, I can't fight now. I was just relaxed and got it right, I made my weight right. You're comfortable in yourself. And although I've done perfect preparations for this fight, just being away from home, I think, you know, having to acclimatise the jet lag, you know, having to live out of a hotel, you know, you don't know what food you're going to have there, what the gym facility is going to be like, and, and being away from it, our comforts, so that's, that's what makes it more nerve wracking. Yeah, sometimes with David fights, it's good. Food out, is that yeah, unfortunately, I'm uh, pay per view yet, so I can't have a <laughs> private jet and uh, a private chef. But um, there's worse places to eat in America, though, aren't there? Yeah, well, it's, you never know. Yeah, yeah, so we work with different people. Yeah, avoid the buffets. Yeah, no buffets, yeah. <laughs> But you know, I've, I've spent time in America training. You know, I know what's good. I know we, when I was at home with David, lock up the bad foods, stuff up all the really fresh organic food. And we won't we'll be slipping into Denny's diners or anything like that. So uh, I'll, I'll be right yeah, with it. Did you fly out? I fly out Monday. Okay. Monday, yeah. So uh, as a Saturday. Saturday, yeah. yeah. So you know, as I say, you got. I'd rather get all my tough, tough hard training done here, all my tough sparring done here, and then fly out. Um, it was like Monday after the fall of fight, so that'll be my rest day. I'll get out there. You literally just fine tune it. You know, so, okay, you don't get to get out there three weeks before for, for jet lag, but also I haven't got to panic about like, sparring out there. Can I get the right training to eat and food and sleep and everything else? So, you know, it'll work well. I've done it before, I've worked when I went to Vegas. So. How many of you are heading out to the um, There's about, well, it's me, a couple of friends, and uh, Adam, Gary Logan, Bobby, Bobby Rich. So, some of the guys are in, uh, they're in the gym, so two or two of them are trying to train out. Uh, Any fans going? No doubt. No, we, no, yeah, no doubt there'll be more. We've got some friends and family that are looking up on flights and that. Uh, so we see a bit late to book them in case yeah. you get injured, do they? I don't, I don't, I don't <laughs> tell anyone, especially people who uh, who I know will book something and come. I, I just be trying to why don't you tell me? Because you will book the flight, you know, and it's not, not so much worried about uh, getting injured or anything can happen. They go, right, you're not boxing there, you're boxing a week earlier in Cincinnati. That's the thing it was even going to be pro card. Yeah, exactly, you know, the car gets pulled, something else happens. And, uh, it's a wonderful as BAR, I don't think there's a standard in it. World champion, Vinny, was that the target? Definitely, you know. Um, you look at uh, the king king of my weight is the reward. Um, I know I'm not ready for that sort of fight. I should not have back on the fucking uh, six months out in June. Yeah. There's plenty of other good fighters out there, and I um, plan to get in there and, and get amongst them. Six or seven, I think, in Free Magazine. I mean, I'm in all of the top ten company bodies now. Uh, there's a couple of champions out there that are uh, definitely taking. And, uh, but I'm not I'm really worried about world, world championship status yet. Uh, as I say, with Frank of Box Nation, he's great. He's, uh, he's dedicated to boxing, so you know other TV channels sometimes they're more interested in the titles and the like than the actual fight. So if I say to Frank, oh, I want to fight Kelly Pavlik in a ten rounder, you know, there's no title. But are you interested? They'd be, you know, he knows that the fans want to see that fight more than be fighting you know, some African kid from you know forty no <laughs> record and box anyone for the last title. Yeah. Right, that's not a fighting fan. <laughs> So that, that's a great, uh, great advantage I think for me in that it's added to the that I've We want to tough fights, we want meaningful fights, we want fighters that are either on the up you know, or campaigned around the highest level that are going to ask questions of me. And then obviously, as I say, if opportunities come up, uh, then it's the right time to move on and get stuck in. So, yeah. You said we ready for the take, it doesn't include Mr. Frux. No, yeah. <laughs> I, uh, I don't need to start uh, that mouth of the Even Khan, I think, will be out before me. Uh, no, you know, uh, 
he's got he's got a world title and he's uh, he's got other other teams on his radar right now. But wouldn't it be a great fight? I obviously wouldn't it be a great fight for the, for the British public. You know, uh, unfortunately, at my weight class, um, I have two two fighters that can emulate what we saw last weekend. I think if me and Frosch got it on, it's a stadium fight, it's a football stadium fight. Um, so, so yeah, I'm, I'm lucky, very lucky in that sense. But for me, I'm not really interested in uh, looking to propel my fame, you know, through the roof straight away. I want to get, get, get my, uh, my awesome gear, get some proper fights and, uh, and get some experience. You think there's something for a bit down the road? Maybe, yeah, maybe that, even when you've won a different world title. Without that, without that, yeah. I think, uh, uh, no is he just dropped off the radar completely now? Oh, you know, I don't know. I'm not sure what, what his, his plans are. He, he's kind, kind of inactive, like me, so I'm pretty sure he's uh, a little bit frustrated at the moment. I'd like to see more of him, see him back in the ring. Uh, Say he's, he's, a, he's not he's not on my immediate radar right now. I'm different fighters, fighters I haven't faced. Uh, it's it's, it's a couple of like, oh, okay, yeah, that's a lot to punch him for it. Yeah, he can't help himself, can he? You know, I, I wouldn't mind getting him. Yeah, yeah. So he, that, that would be fantastic. Hopefully uh, he doesn't uh, hide behind his, uh, his team. That's an easier fight for you this time around, isn't it? Yeah, I'm about that, yeah. yeah, I think he, uh, he's going to fame that he won one round against me. He you know, put me down in the third round. I, got, I beat him before then, I beat him after I stopped him in the sixth. And since then, he, he hasn't actually beaten anyone. No, uh, eventually he had me in a winning record and took offence to that. But what, what, I, what I probably meant was anyone with a real, real winning record, you know, not, not someone with two wins, one loss, you know, 14 and 0s and 20 and 0s and stuff like that. So, but, you know, he's, he's, uh, he's done his thing, he's kept, he's kept winning, he hasn't been able to fight anyone of note, I'll say. Uh, but he'll get his chance, and I think that's we'll the fight for him. We'll see what we'll he's all about. But I think uh, this is going to be a very easy fight. We'll see, we'll see uh, the difference in levels now and how much we can do. That's become a bit of a grudge match for you, though, yeah. because of his bad Melvin and, and yeah. what happened before, I suppose. Yeah, I mean, fight. people ask me day in, day out. Do, do you uh, have to do something I could care less about that fight, you know. But uh, someone would like to punch in the throat, as I say, he's Kenny Anderson. So uh, that says a lot about him. Congratulations to him. I think he's, uh, he's done well. But um, come fight night, I'll be calm and composed. But it's nice to have, uh, have that bit of spite about your training. You know, you could be uh, in line for, for a great fight. Uh, for that. An entertaining fight for the fans, but also good, 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 good fight. Sure. Talk about the game, but he's, he's got these issues to sort in. Yeah, I think he's got um, managerial or contractual issues, yeah. So, yeah he's got um, his European tough, he's got another mandatory lined up. So, uh, yeah, I, mean, I hope he stays busy. You know, no doubt he'll be doing a bit of globe trotting if, he's, uh, if there's, no, there's no interest in him in the UK apart from where he fights me. Um, but there's plenty of good opponents out there across Europe. So, with that European belt, he, uh, I think he's boxing Italian in Denmark. Who else? Something like Crocs, maybe a German mandatory or a Danish mandatory or someone coming up. So he'll keep busy. He'll keep busy and uh, hopefully have fun coming down the line. And you're ringside on Saturday when you could see David and, and that sort of atmosphere and crowd. So what your appetite would be? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It was a great event. Not not a surprise, but uh, happy. I'm really happy that it's sold so well and that people got behind what they realised was going to be a great fight. And obviously, it started controversially and there was a bit of a and stuff like that. But at the end of the day, the fight fans showed up for us for a great fight. 
and um, the vast majority of the fans there weren't just wanted to see a punch up. You know, they wanted to see some public boxing. There was loads of David Hay fans there. That was great because um, obviously he did box well out of Germany and he took a lot of stick for that. But it shows that you know, people still respect him as a fighter and they still know he's got the talent. So um, he, he came up to a great, great, um, a great crowd weekend. Um, and, and, it, and for me, it's great that Box Nation done so well. And they really did do well. You, you think about it, if, it's a, if it was a pay-per-view fight, you would have paid for David and that would have been it. Whereas, uh, you're lucky enough to get me two weeks time and anyone who signed up for the fight weekend. So hopefully, serious, hopefully the vast majority of uh, People uh, who signed up this month haven't cancelled, which I'm sure they haven't, but not, not before they see me. So they'll see me weekend and then they'll think, wow, David was definitely low for me, but how close he's boxing. You know, he's out in September, I've got to keep the subscription going. Sign up for the year, yeah. Yeah, I mean, Frank said he, he, the demand was higher for subscriptions that week, but he's, he's, that was only a dry run for the fight next week. He's had to apply <laughs> twice as many uh, call centre workers and get the uh, system updated and handle the, the overwhelming pressure of uh, subscriptions. Good stuff. Okay, mate, good luck on the fight. Good luck, George.